In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best route combos from the stack Y flex formation in the Saints playbook. Des used this specific formation out of the Saints playbook to really attack Kiv's defense well. And I wanted to just break down one of my favorite concepts uh, that I saw him running uh, in this video. Now, if you want to get my entire Saints offensive ebook, we're going to be updating the ebook. Uh, we do have a ton of stuff out of Saints, including Bunch, Tight. Uh, we're actually working on some stuff out of the Trio Week, as well as the Trey Offset Formation. You can get access to all of that by becoming a Patreon member. Patreon members get access to all of my Man 23 offensive and defensive eBooks. So make sure to sign up for that. The link is going to be down in the description below. The player we're going to be taking a look at today is Fade Out. I think it's the most versatile uh, passing play in the formation. It can be all kinds of different concepts, and uh, you can actually do this without Hot Rod Master or with Hot Rod Master. It's kind of up to you. So uh, the play is Fade Out, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put our outside receiver here, Michael Irvin, on an out route. We're going to put Jerome Bettis, our running back, on a wheel. Uh, so we have that out route and that wheel route combo. And then on the left side, we're going to slant that backed off receiver. Now, this formation, by very nature of the formation, does a really good job uh, against man-to-man -man coverage because it's really hard to press. You'll see here, if I try to press out of this cover one, a lot of times the slant's going to get a free release. Didn't get one right there, but this post, it's basically just a slant post concept over the middle of the field. But we pair that with some of the best routes off of that, and that is uh, one of the beauties of this play. Now, you can also, uh, what's really nice about this formation here, is if I wanted to, you know, we could do a lot of different things in terms of how to get separation. So let me give you another example. If they press man, you can put Edelman on this streak here, and a lot of times it'll run off that press, and then he could potentially bomb press man-to-man -man coverage over the top. So there's some other variations of this this concept as well. Uh, another thing you could do if you have Hot Route Master, go ahead and put that tight in on a hot route master post. I do think that that route is better than the stock post that is on the play. So if you have the ability to put him on a hot route master post, I would really recommend doing that because you're gonna get better separation against main coverage, which is obviously one of the main reasons we're going to this play. Now, another thing that we have here is a really good uh, wheel route to the, the running back. And what you wanna do with this, you saw, you saw that um, little high ball in free form, a lot of pro Madden players at this point in the year have figured out that if you can, if you high ball, um, which is holding L1, and you free form, which is holding left trigger, you can throw the ball kind of over shoulder like this. You see how he has that space over there? So I'm just going to high ball and free form it up and over the top of the defender. As you can see, it could be one of the best man beaters in the game. The only way for people to consistently stop that is to have some kind of deep route knockout on, on that player. Now, another thing that you can do, I think it's actually super underrated, uh, is you can drag this left side receiver. I think that's also a really underrated piece of this because you see here, he just gets really nice beat the press animations, and it's just really hard to guard this. So if they are going to press you, um, this is one of the best formations to handle press man in the game. By far, um, you know, if they press you, it's just, it, they just, they just leave a lot open. Um, now, Let's talk about zone coverage. So once they start to see that you're able to beat man coverage well, they're going to go to they're going to go to zone. And this wheel route to Julian Edelman is one of the best routes in the game. And this wheel route to the back is one of the, is another really good route. So what you can do with this is you can high ball this running back route in the seam. And you want to click on and you want to ag it. And it's super effective. Um, sometimes the yellow zones will flow out to the running back a little bit better than they did last year. But if you high ball it, it almost never, it's just really hard to guard. Uh, and then the other thing that you have is this, um, what I love about stack wide flex is the spacing of the formation. I think that the spacing is so good. And what you get with Michael Irvin over here is if they're even if they're playing hard flat, sometimes you can get that out there right there. We weren't able to, uh, but sometimes you can get that out there. It depends on kind of the coverage. Um, like if they're not playing hard flats, let's say you're playing like uh, cover three, like stock cover three or something. Sometimes this is just a, a quick access through. If you see you have space, I would throw it. Um, and, and again, you don't have to, obviously, if they're playing hard flats, you know, maybe not, but the beauty of this is it just gives them another thing they have to think about. So oftentimes what's going to happen is they're going to go to cover two hard flat. When they go to cover two hard flat, now this wheel route to Julian Edelman is super open against cover two, one of the better cover two beating routes in the game. And really cover two is the best way to take away a lot of the things on this play. Cover two does the best against any kind of like slant post combo, in my opinion. 
And you'll see here on the left side that this fade is just so powerful against cover two. As you can see, just gets in this real soft spot against the defense and just does a really, really good job. So they're going to have to do some stuff over there. Maybe they back this guy off. You know, maybe they, you know, get this guy more outside, right? There's some things that they're going to have to do to be able to stop that. And then what this does is it leaves the middle of the field more open for your post route to be able to work over the middle. So you see here, I can throw that post route right in that little pocket right there and kind of get it in between a lot of different zones uh, on, the, on the field. Now, one other thing I did want to quickly address was zone coverage, and this is the value of this post route. If they are playing like traditional cover two, your slot apprentice or your hot route master post is not going to be the best way to go. Really the best way to go, in my opinion, is going to be to put this receiver here on a streak and utilize this deeper version of the post. And what you'll see is this will get over any zone drops across the formation, as you can see right there. Now, if they blitz you, I do think it's actually really important to talk about because I do think we are getting uh, a little bit more blitz happy late in the year you're going to get something like this. This is a five-man pressure, and they're going to use her right in here. So typically, you're going to have hard flat, and you're going to have user. So what you want to do with this is wherever the user goes, you just want to throw the other side. So oftentimes, if they are going to play hard flat, this running back gets in the seam really, really well against any kind of like zone pressure. So they have to run to the running back, or they have to do some different adjustments, which the other beauty of stack wide flex from an alignment perspective is it's really, really hard to take away the, the whole field because it just spaces the field really well. So uh, what you'll also see with this is, okay, let's say they go to the running back. Now what we're going to be able to do is say, okay, go to the running back, but look, look at my uh, slant route coming wide open in the middle of the field. So it's a quick hitting attack that really does a great job at attacking man and zone. Now you might be asking, okay, well, that's good, but what if they do run some match coverage? If they run some match coverage, I think this plays even better against match coverage. This little wheel route oftentimes can cause some confusion in the match coverage, uh, but really your tight end is your main route, and then you're going to build from there. So again, we have a core, at the very core of this play, it is a slant post concept. It is a slant post combo. If the user chooses to go guard the slant, then we want to throw the post. If the user chooses to go guard the post, then what we want to do is we want to say, okay, we're going to throw the slant right in that little pocket because our running back has cleared out space for us to be able to do that. Stack Y Flex, a lot more content coming from this formation. One of my favorite formations in Madden 23. I'm going to be dropping an ebook on the Stack Y Flex formation soon on our Patreon. So make sure that you're in the Patreon. You'll be able to get access to everything we've already done, as well as everything we're going to do. 10 bucks gets you access to everything. The link is down in the description below.